moving toward home. Where is Abu Fadi? she wailed. Who will bring me my loved one? The New York Times, 92082. I do not wish to speak about the bulldozer and the red dirt not quite covering all of the arms and legs, nor do I wish to speak about the night-long screams that reached the observation posts where soldiers lounged about, nor do I wish to speak about the woman who shoved her baby into the stranger's hands before she was led away. Nor do I wish to speak about the father whose sons were shot through the head while they slit his own throat before the eyes of his wife. Nor do I wish to speak about the army that lit continuous flares into the darkness so that others could see the backs of the victims lined against the wall. Nor do I wish to speak about the piled up bodies and the stench that will not float. Nor do I wish to speak about the nurse again and again raped before they murdered her on the hospital floor. Nor do I wish to speak about the rattling bullets that did not halt on their keening trajectory. Nor do I wish to speak about the pounding on the doors and the breaking of windows and the hauling of families into the world of the dead. I do not wish to speak about the bulldozer and the red dirt not quite covering all of the arms and legs because I do not wish to speak about unspeakable events that must follow from those who dare to purify a people, those who dare to exterminate a people, those who dare to describe human beings as beasts with two legs, those who dare to mop up, to tighten the noose, to step up the military pressure, to ring around civilian streets with tanks, those who dare to close the universities, to abolish the press, to kill the elected representatives of the people who refuse to be purified. Those are the ones from whom we must redeem the words of our beginning. Because I need to speak about home, I need to speak about living room where the land is not bullied and beaten into a tombstone. I need to speak about living room where the talk will take place in my language. I need to speak about living room where my children will grow without horror. I need to speak about living room where the men of my family between the ages of 6 and 65 are not marched into a roundup that leads to the grave. I need to talk about living room where I can sit without grief, without wailing aloud for my loved ones, where I must not ask where is Abu Fadi because he will be there beside me. I need to talk about living room because I need to talk about home. I was born a black woman and now I am become a Palestinian, against the relentless laughter of evil, there is less and less living room. And where are my loved ones? It is time to make our way home.